public comments. My biggest concern is that storage area and the visibility of the storage area for the residents on the opposite side of the drive. Yeah. Um, I don't fully understand the storage area myself. Uh, sure. I, if you could clarify, I mean, why not designate a lot for your storage mm -hmm. rather than making it far in? We'll be happy to move it off of the drive. That's not, I just needed to put it somewhere I wanted to show it on the flat. So, I mean, um, and it's not so much whether it's on Eagle Drive or not, it's just whether or not the access to that lot from Eagle Drive. Okay. That's, that's um, fine. I, I would, I'm just curious. Because earlier, I think you said that there would be access from Eagle Drive into that storage lot. Sure. So we can move it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we won't access it off here. And, and clarify again how the emergency road. So that would be a gate, either a key or a number gate, what we use a lot of times, where you got to go in and spend the numbers, four or six numbers, whatever's on the national lot. So you have to manually do that. Uh, you can't just do it from a clicker from your car and punch a button on the keypad. You got to get out, unlock it, and go out now. Somebody so, left it open, you know, that could be a problem, but. Right, uh, what, what, this, what would be to discourage that or prevent that? Uh, I mean, it would be a self-policing thing of the homeowner, right? You know, it's, if we want to put a manual gate in there, then more people are going to use it. You know, if it's something that opens with a clicker or a keypad, more people will use it. But if it's something they get out of the car and lock and lock back, they could leave it open. I mean, I can't uh, promise that, but do something that they would have to lease that they wouldn't want to leave it open if they're homeowners because there'll be people coming in out of it that aren't in the subject. So, does that answer your question? Yeah. Yes, self-policing answered my question. Yeah. 